It's time to play the footlock. Presentation of Turner Sports. In 1998, cable television's exclusive host for the 18th Olympic Winter Games from Nagano, Japan, and the fourth Goodwill Games from New York. August 31st, 1997. Opening day in the National Football League and the first contest for the Panthers that will count here at Erickson Stadium. For Dom Capers and Norv Turner, it was a long, hot preseason filled with sound and fury. We've lost one quarterback. I don't want to lose this one. Last year, the Panthers were a step away from the Super Bowl. That'll do it. The Panthers have done it. The King is dead. The Panthers are headed for the NFC Championship. With Steve Burline filling in for the injured Kerry Collins, Carolina is still out to prove that their title bid was no illusion. In Washington, Gus Farad is the undisputed leader of the offense, and the fans' expectations are higher than any time since the Joe Gibbs era. Tonight, Washington meets Carolina. Next on TNT. from Erickson Stadium beginning its second season as home of the Carolina Panthers. As the Carolina Panthers play before a sellout crowd of 72,000 plus on the edge of the downtown area of Charlotte, North Carolina. And they are at home tonight to the Washington Redskins in game one for both ball clubs. And good evening, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with Pat Hayden and Mark May. Welcome to the final first game of the first Sunday of the 97 season. We think we've got a potentially terrific matchup. The Redskins in their 65th season opener, and the Carolina Panthers in their third. Washington, 9-7 and seven a year ago. Second season in their new beautiful home. They have never lost here. They won all eight regular season games last year, and then they knocked off the Cowboys in the first round of the playoffs. Here's Brian Mitchell. And here's an oddity. He is about to return his 273rd kickoff. He's never returned a kickoff for a touchdown. He's returned six punts for TDs. And he will not return this one. It'll be a touchback for John Casey. Here comes wealthy Gus Farratt. <laughs> 12 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. And in the backfield, he has Terry Allen, Larry Bowie at fullback, Leslie Shepard and Henry Ellard open at wideouts. Michael Westbrook will play tonight. Jamie Ash at the tight end. And a, a problem, perhaps, the offensive line, particularly watch number 67, Sean Pradonish. He gets to go against Lamar Latham tonight. That's the, that's the key matchup that Norv Turner is very concerned about. From the 20, first and 10. Hand off to Allen, breaks a bit of a tackle and bangs out to the 27. Chad Cota, number 37, makes the stop. Defensively, up front, it's Mike Fox, Gerald Williams, and Greg Cragen. Two of the threes, remember uh, Washington's opening game of 32. And here are the linebackers, Michael Barrow, Lathan, Sam Mills, and Andre Royal getting his first start. Eric Davis, Tyrone Poole on the corners. Second down and two. Backs in the eye. Allen cuts back. Big hole. And he's all the way out to the 41-yard line. Back-to-back -back runs for Terry Allen. You, know, you can say what you want, Mark, about preseason, but the Panthers did not stop the run all preseason. They gave up 140 yards. Preseason's supposed to answer questions. I think there's some big questions about this Panther defense. There definitely are. Not only that, their last game of the season last year against the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship game, they gave up a lot of yards yeah. on the ground there, so the Redskins are going to try to exploit this tonight. See Dom Capers making his notes. We'll catch that all night long. First and 10 after a 14-yard run. Bowie in motion. Here comes the blitz. Allen goes right by it. Breaks tackles again. This time he went right. 
over the block of Ed Simmons, number 76. I'll tell you, the thing about Terry Allen, he is a great inside runner because he has a couple of great qualities. And the first is the initial quickness to seize the hole and the vision and the feet to take him there. And then he's got enough power and oomph and strength to fight through traffic. A very good inside runner. Not only that, Pat, Terry Allen is the type of runner that he gets a lot of his yards after the first yeah. contact. You cannot bring him down with an arm tackle or a shoulder tackle. He will run right through. And he doesn't fumble. Into the flat. First pass for Asher. And that is another Redskin first down. North Turner's game plan tonight, he said, is to keep it very conservative. Yeah, you mentioned that Terry Allen doesn't fumble. And keeping it conservative is one thing. The other thing, Norbert was saying that most opening game, uh, day games are lost, not won. He said, if we can just avoid, you know, that big sack, if you protect uh, our quarterback, watch out for Lathan on the, uh, the things, don't throw the interceptions, don't fumble the ball, we're going to win it. Only 11 of those 18 turnovers were fumbles a year ago. A seven, I beg your pardon. There you go. Allen, this time he is stuffed at the 46. Sam Mills, number 50. Even up there and hit the hole where those offensive linemen have a tough time to find him. Stephen Davis has come into the lineup for the Redskins. Number 48, running back. Whoa. Oh, boy. Yeah, Stephen Davis, the club finding $50,000. He has agreed, Westbrook that is, to seek counseling for his anger and he is wide to the near side four wide receivers this may be a shotgun it is yes and here comes a screen pass left Brian Mitchell out of the backfield that's going to be very close no. for the first down he may have been a foot short yep. and I'll tell you what I talked about the shotgun formation it's a new wrinkle for the Redskins they probably caught Carolina off guard they haven't seen Matt Turk will receive the snap back from his older brother Dan Turk two of the Turk brothers there are six of them playing together for the first time pooch kick as they say and it's a good one one of my favorite terms in the NFL the pooch punt and a well done pooch keep that pooch <laughs> it was all in the center snap 10.42 to go opening quarter. Here is Steve Berline on in place of Kerry Collins. Backs are in the eye on first and 10. And the handoff goes to Anthony Johnson. Johnson, who had a spectacular second half of the season after Tamanga Biakabatuka was injured last year. Jesse Campbell, number 37, with the tackle. And let's check this Panther offense. Johnson, Scott Green in the backfield. Ernie Mills and the rookie Ray Carruth from Colorado at wideouts and Wesley Walls off of Pro Bowl season. Up front, it's Campbell, Davids, Garrido, Elliott, Skrepanik, and Garcia. Second down and three. And Berline will throw. Behind Wesley Walls, incomplete with Jesse Campbell covering. Defensively for Washington, and they do not have Sean Gilbert. He is uh, continuing his holdout. Lang, the rookie, Kennard Lang from Miami, Rich Owens up front, Marcus Patton moves to the middle, Harvey and Derek Smith, one of two rookie starters, and in the backfield, Chris Dishman joins Daryl Green now, Jesse Campbell and Stanley Richard complete the defensive backfield. Rocket Ismail is in, number 81, on third down, and Winslow Oliver is also in the backfield. Quick set up for Berline. Goes left incomplete. I'm not sure whether that was uh, Mills or Oliver. Well, I mean, he actually thought he... he or Rocket. Yeah, right. He, Steve Berline said to us yesterday they felt they could get the ball to Rocket Ismail in the slot formation, but the problem is Rocket has not done a very good job of getting rid of the bump and run. He's, they jam him at the line of scrimmage, and he can't release. And here's the uh, scary situation, I think, for the Carolina Panthers special teams. Brian Mitchell, one of the great punt returners in the league. And Ken Walter, who for five years was a ball boy for the Cleveland Browns slash Baltimore Ravens. His first NFL punt. In preseason, he had great hang time. And what a start. Mitchell will return it. Shakes one, can't shake the other. Welcome to the NFL, Ken Walter. Second offensive set now for the Washington Redskins. Michael Westbrook. In the lineup comes left. Out of the backfield, this is James Jenkins, a second tight end. They toss to Allen, and he uses the Jenkins block. 
to come around the left side to the 35-yard line. I tell you, the, the questions are still there for the Carolina Panthers. They have not stopped Terry Allen tonight. I mean, they had a, a bad preseason stopping the run. Mark, you mentioned the Green Bay game and the championship game. Terry Allen now has 38 yards on uh, five carries. You see what did happen in the, in the preseason. It's about, what, uh, 40 yards more? My uh, math is correct. Well, is really, hey, once again, Mark, he's using he's that his toes. Yes. You know, it comes into play in the most amazing ways. <laughs> Second down and two. Play fake. Farad has it. Finds Larry Bowie, number 47. Excellent execution by Gus Farad. Not only Gus Farad, but the play fake by the running back going to the right. And North Turner comes up with these new wrinkles almost every game in the NFL to get the open boot so Farad can break contain. It's still a conservative short pass. Here's Terry Allen on the fake. The defense goes with the flow. Gus Farad has time to plant and dump the ball off. And here, this is excellent. It's still conservative football and a conservative pass, but it gives the Redskins a first down. Larry Bowie, who starts in place of an injured Mark Logan, makes the catch. 14 on the game. Farrat. Here comes the blitz. He gets rid of it, but Allen can't hang on. It was Tyrone Poole off the corner again. We're in Cincinnati and Jeff Hostetler right here in Washington. Three key situations. It is a very, very long season and grueling for quarterbacks. Came on in relief of Phil Simms in an injured situation with the Giants and led the Giants to a Super Bowl championship. Jeff Hostetler now in his 14th season. Leslie Shepard starts in motion. Hostetler screen pass left side. Oh man! Oh poor boy! Power pull time. You can't do that. You have to meet him head on in the gaps, and you have to pound him to have success. On first down, the Redskins are averaging six and a half yards a carry. Stick with it. Third and 13. Hostetler low for Ash. Matt Turk who led the league in net punting a year ago. This one is a line drive effort and a last minute fair catch. And he's fair game and Jamel Wilson Williams pops him the boats. Mm -hmm. Now Steve Berline. Frank Garcia over the ball. And they hand it off to Anthony Johnson. Big hole. And Anthony Johnson described by his coach. The uh, West Championship. He had six games of 100 yards plus. After coming in for Bianca Batuka a year ago, 21 on that one. And he'll get the handoff again, cuts left, and back right, and picks up maybe a yard. And let's check in with Craig Sager on uh, Gus Farad's condition. Well, Vern, Gus didn't miss any snaps. Check in with Craig Sager on uh, Gus Farad's condition. Well, Vern, Gus didn't miss any snaps last year. He does. You just, you, you never know. <laughs> Be careful yourself. No. <laughs> you, all cameras are live, as are all microphones. <laughs> Anthony Johnson, another nifty run. I mean, everybody's going to be chasing them. Third, and a smidgen. Oh, that's, that's more than a smidgen. Oh, no. uh, just a little longer. Yeah. Well, yeah, see. Derek Smith, number 50, the rookie linebacker. Third round pick out of Arizona State was right there. And we'll see if he got enough. So you the defense for the walk. Later stages of the first quarter. Anthony Johnson stays in the backfield. Berline, knowing a good thing, gives it back to him. That win, the distance of that win, really made me uh, surprise me today. Biggest surprise of the day. Second down and two, Carolina. No score. Johnson, it'll be a first down and ten for Carolina now. Well, he came within uh, 39 yards of his career total last year in one season. And here's Johnson again. You know, as you watch him, the style is a lot like Terry Allen's. You know, they, uh, they're they both. Eight play of the drive now, third and second down. And Johnson skips to the right side, and they corral him as Dale Green in his 15th season as a starter for the Washington Redskins, number 28, and a former teammate of Mark Mays. An outstanding player, you think. Camp. He ran times in the 40 of 4.27, 4.28, and 4.3. Winslow Oliver, the nickel back on third and five, number 20. Berline, deep left side for Rocket Ismail, and Stanley Richard does a nice job of coming over to knock it away, number 24. Yeah, Steve Berline knew he had a wide receiver open there. That ball was just hung in the air a little too long and gave Stanley Richard time to drive on it. He will try one of 52 yards 
He had a terrific season a year ago when he connected on 37. Look at this one. Holy cow. Ryan Mitchell, Mark Logan are deep. Here's Casey's second kickoff, and he will do the left tackle. Which brings to mind the fact that the Redskins in their cuts cut Andre Johnson, last year's number one draft pick in offensive tackle. He never played it down. It's the first time in 34 years a first round draft pick was released that's never played it down for an organization who's drafted him. The slant pattern to Michael Westbrook. And his first catch. And a flag is down as well at the 30 yard line. So we'll see if uh, the play is negated. Well, it was just Tyrone Poole has played so well. 3 0 Carolina, last two minutes, quarter number one. Larry Bowie, number 47. Here's a reverse to Michael Westbrook. Double. They give it back to Leslie Shepard, and he gets a block. Well, not much of one from Farrakh. Oh. Pat Terrell did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. High formation again. Here's Terry Allen, who has had success early in this ball game, but this time he stopped after a pickup of two by Sam Mills, number 51. And Mark, now here's going to come with some sort of blitz. Rod Smith is on the corner now yeah, for Tyrone Poole. For Tyrone Poole. It's third down and four. Here comes the rush from Lathan, and he goes for Westbrook on the right side. Turk does not uh, hang it up. He, he was a pretty good punt returner last year. I mean, they're very good on special teams. Had an 11.5 yards per return average. Some feeling that Carolina has the best special teams in the league, and they got everybody back, and this is a poor putt. A whirly bird, as you would say. <laughs> and Winslow Oliver with a bit of a counterpunch out to the 33-yard line. <laughs> That's a legal one, though. First down and 10. Wesley Walls, number 85, starts in motion. Anthony Johnson. Earned the starting nod just last week. Tim Biakapatuka, Tamanga Biakapatuka. Carolina Panthers leading the Washington Redskins 3 0 as we get set. And three wide receivers in now for Steve Berline. Whoops. That's a rather casual disruption of play. Berline says to Walls, go back where you came, from where you came. Oops, it is intercepted. Picked off by Chris Dishman, number 26. And the free agent acquisition from the Tennessee Oilers intercepts Steve Berline deep in Carolina territory. This is an offensive team, Mark, that has to play it close to the vest. They don't have real dynamic players, and they can't turn the ball over and win football games. And right here, they get pressure by Mark Boutte, the defensive tackle that's in the game. He comes right up the gut, puts pressure on Berline. This team, as you said, Pat, they can't afford to have turnovers. That's one of their philosophies. Run the football, short throws, no turnovers, and what do they do to start the second quarter? He throws a turnover right off the bat to Chris Dishman. Yeah, Chris Dishman's going to make this defense a lot better defensive team. Ian Green on the corners now. Leslie Shepard comes in motion near side for Rock. Hands it off to Terry Allen. Yeah, I, I'll, be, I'll be surprised if we don't get a heavy dose of Terry Allen here. Yeah, this could be Terry Allen left, right. Tyrone Poole is back in the game defensively. Second and eight for Rock. Jamie Asher, the tight end, cannot hang on. Not have a good season outside the 40 a yep. year ago. Unlike Casey. Third and eight. Asher in motion. Shovel pass, Brian Mitchell. What a play, and a downfield block from Leslie Shepard. <laughs> Somewhere, <laughs> Lee Grosskamp <laughs> is smiling. You do it every time the shovel play comes up. 22 <laughs> yards. <laughs> but that's Brian amazing. Mitchell. That is amazing. North Turner comes up with a different wrinkle, and that's why he's one of the best play callers in the NFL. No, no doubt about that. I mean, he's done it wherever he has been. Helped in Los Angeles, certainly in Dallas, and then here. And a good downfield block by Asher. And then Leslie Shepard, look at that, right? There's the block right there by Shepard. These wide receivers, you mentioned Westbrook, a mark, but Leslie Shepard's also a good downfield blocker. Gain of 22 and a first down. Just outside the 10, they can get a first down. Here's Allen going left, chased by Terrell, can't get him. Flag is down, it might come back. That's going to be a hole. And I think Nora believes your call, Pat. He believes it. It is a hole against the Redskins. Absolutely. First and 20. Whoops. And a motion. And a poor Donish. Joe Patton moved over from left tackle to left guard. 
Norv uh, Turner said, is this the offensive line I want? No, but can I win with it? Yes. Allen on the draw play inside the 20 to the 19 yard line and Michael Barrow number 56. Yeah, Alvin Harper in the ball game and this is where his size can become a factor. He's wide left. Perot into the flat and a poor throw. It was intended for Brian Mitchell to go and he signed here. Third down and 20. 19 actually. Into the deep left side. Tipped away incomplete. And title 32 a year ago. This from 38. And we are tied at three. So the Redskins used the Chris Dishman interception to tie the game. They had a touchdown run of Terry Allen negated by a holding call. But with 12.35 to go first half. A good one going in Charlotte. Here is the kick taken by Michael Bates, who led the league in kick returns a year ago. He became the first player in more than 20 years to average. Two for him, and I think that is terrific. This young man is getting out of his life. First down and 10, Rocket Ismail starts to the right side. Here comes Anthony Johnson out of the tackle by Daryl Green, and he is down at the 39-yard line. Of course, the Carolina Panthers are dealing with can fester and can divide a team along uh, racial lines. That could be a, a big long-term issue for Carolina. Second and five. Johnson left inside Daryl Green. Gets a downfield block from Muhammad and explodes. First down, Johnson dances right. Gets by Kennard Lang, number 90. The rookie number one draft pick. Game. First and 20. Jamal Duff, number 92, is in the lineup defensively now. Here's Berline. Rocket Ismail. Derek Smith is the first one there. And good uh, defensive pursuit by the Redskins, Stanley Richard, and Jamal Duff, number 92. Duff picked up on waivers just 10 days ago from the New York Giants. Yeah, this is a guy, a guy they feel, number 92, Jamal Duff, can help this team in their pass rush. Out a lot a year ago, but uh, Mike Nolan feels that they can help in their pass rush, and they're going to rotate some defensive ends. You have to in the course of the year, and he's going to be part of that rotation. Mike Nolan reminding us that Jamal Duff, two years ago for the Giants, had a terrific game against yeah. the Redskins. Mm -hmm. And then nothing last year. Out with an injury. Second down, Burline. Screen pass, left side. Johnson. Boy, did you see? Did you see Keith Rucker, old number 99, big old 99? That, that is not Keith Rucker. That's Matt Elliott. Keith Rucker, the defensive lineman for the Washington Redskins. Now he didn't really make much on that player to make that tackle, but this is a hustling play for number 99. He's right here. He's 300. In, well, 331 generous pounds. <laughs> and, you know, he's still hustling down the field. He comes in and kind of cleans it up at the end. But I tell you, if you hustle like that, you can have an improved defense. Pat, I played two years in 9.15 to go before halftime. Third and 16. Burline, Ken Harvey with a little pressure. Oh, ouch. And Burline is popped. Ouch. And, and mind you, Shane Matthews, who joined the team a week ago, is the backup to Steve Burline. That's Jamel Williams. Number 22, who also got there, the rookie fifth-round pick out of Nebraska. Now they had, what, four fifth-round picks, the Redskins, all four of them made the team. All their draft picks made the team. And Mike Nolan, number 22, right there in the middle of your screen, this is a guy Mike Nolan really, really likes and all their nickel packages. Ken Walter on for his second NFL punt. Brian Mitchell waits for it. And Walter... 94 graduate of Kent State has this one live to arrest at the 10-yard line. Two for two. Hovering uh, overhead, providing the pictures tonight as they have for all kinds of athletic events since 1960. The first event the Goodyear Blimp covered was the Orange Bowl. Here's the handoff up the middle to Terry Allen, and he gets a couple of yards after the 12-yard line. That Orange Bowl was produced by Frank. Backs in the eye. Here comes that corner blitz. Perot yeah. way up in the air for Westbrook and good downfield coverage. Yeah, they picked up right here. Think the Panthers will come? Yeah, they do every play. 
<laughs> yep. Oh, bum, bum, bum. It was Lathan. It was Lamar Lathan. The matchup mark we took. Oh, that wasn't much of an effort there, was it? No. Matt Turk will get the snap from his brother. Checks to make sure his heel is not on the end line. Tyrone Poole is back to return it. Mm. And this will be returned from the 50. Poole comes left. 15-yard punt return, Steve Berline, and they have Fred Lane, a rookie free agent, in the backfield. He gets his first carry in the NFL, and he doesn't get much at all. Fred Lane, number 32, a rookie free agent who was the spark plug of preseason for Carolina. Watch the second down and 10. Four wide receiver set, Berline. Quick setup, right side, oh. intercepted. He oh. threw it right in the hands of Chris Dishman, who gets his second interception of the season. Is this Super Bowl 30? and is that Larry Brown? That's two of them. That was a gift from above. Chris Dishman didn't even have to move. I think Steve Berline just threw that. ...than Daryl Green. Chris Dishman is an in-your-face, bump-and-run kind of guy. Fred Lane back in the backfield. And he gets his second NFL carry. Now the segue. Sometimes being... Second and six. I thought that was kind of a shoehorn myself. <laughs> Heard a few today. <laughs> Wesley Walls, draw play, Fred Lane. This is why he got the crowd excited. He's a young... He got the pads on and he was like Superman. He went into the phone booth and he oh, came out as Superman. Bada bing. Oof. That was ugly. <laughs> play action, Berline, left side. One tie game, five to go first half. Scott Green comes left. First and goal, Carolina at the four. Darrell's tight to the right. First and goal. Fred Lane for a yard. Fumble, loose ball, yes. Redskins. Oh, my goodness. This, is, yeah, this has been a game of big plays, turnovers, and penalties. Here's a turnover again. The Redskins capitalized on this. Now they have to do something with it. They've had bad field position thus far in this game. They do get the ball back, but they're still starting off inside the 10-yard line. It'll be interesting to see what Gus Farrakh can do in this series because they need to move the ball. Fred Lane with the fumble. Mike Nolan, new defensive coordinator, likes what he sees. First Redskin turnover of the night. That is a takeaway, and they hand it off to Terry Allen, Mike Fox, number 93 with the tackle. Let's go back and take a look at the Fred Lane fumble. Yeah, Marv Patton and Jesse K uh, Campbell combined to force the fumble. You see the ball. You're going to see the ball in a moment. I'm going to help you see it. I hope. Pop loose. There it is, right there. It comes loose, and Jesse Campbell, who kind of forced it, makes the recovery right there. Second and four. Oh my. Allen with a big hole. And Pat Terrell saved a bundle at the 27-yard line. Number 40 ruled down by contact and no fumble. A 12-yard gain. Shoulders always perpendicular as we talked about it. And he gets up a, a, a head of steam. I tell you, both offensive lines have done a good job of, of blocking initial penetration and allowing these guys to get started. And Terry Allen got, has gotten started very well tonight. Right side, Terry Allen. Over 1,000 yards in each of the last three seasons. And those 21 touchdowns equaling his jersey number. Last 1,000 yard seasons did you have? <laughs> Passing or running? <laughs> Take your choice. This is not a blue book exam. Are you pummeling me again? <laughs> Second and seven for Rod. Whoops. I think Allen probably should have had that. Joe Patton, number 68. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm Gus Farad, I certainly know where Tyrone Poole is. Alvin Harper in the slot to the left, number 80. Oh, my ah. goodness, Leslie Shepard breaks the tackle, gets a block from Harper. And Terrell goes high to knock him out of bounds. But the quick hitter to Leslie Shepard for 40. 
three yards. Was that a good throw, Mark? I mean, a three-step drop back, and he delivered that slam pass. You see so many wide receivers catch it on the run, and they can make big plays. And it was excellent by Farad. He was only one for eight up to that point after the injury, but now he's back in sync. And that's what a quarterback needs. He needs his rhythm back. He sets back his three to five steps. Boom, the ball's gone. That's what hurts this type of defense, this zone blitz defense. You've got to run the ball, and you've got to get rid of that ball to your hands if you're a quarterback and throw it downfield. Alvin Harper, number 80, laid the block on Chad Cota downfield, and that gave them an additional 15 yards as we head to the two-minute break, a 3-3 ball game, a 43-yard pass and run after the catch for the Redskins. In the same game, that was an Euler victory. First down and 10 here after the 43-yard game in a 3-3 ball game. And it's Terry Allen inside the 20 to the 18 yard line L Lamar Lathan created a hole there by that rush and he knows it and he down danced outside of a block and created a huge running lane there for Terry Allen North yeah. Turner was worried about the pass protection of Sharp Fordonish the guy 6'6 320 pounds let him run block a small linebacker and he's really putting it on Lamar Lathan tonight second down and two 130 to go Allen with the first down. Keep in mind the Redskins did use one of their allotted three timeouts earlier in the half. So they've got two remaining. And Norm Turner is uh, showing some degree of excitement. Remember Michael Barrow talking to us about Terry Allen yesterday and he was saying the thing about Terry Allen is the after yards, the after the hit yards. He said, you know, Michael Barrow said, you, you can't bring your paper, paper plates when you're tackling him. One minute to go, first down and 10 at the 19. Shepard in motion. Farrar, fake pattern, Michael Westbrook. No catch. You know, this we have a physical mismatch, size miss. 48 seconds to go, second and 10. Bowie lines up as a tight end to the left side. Asher tight right. Here comes the blitz again. Farrar, play action to Bowie the tight end and Bowie has a first and goal at the two and I'm sure the Redskins will use timeouts. Yep. Terry Robisky calling the timeout. And what the Redskins do with Larry Bowie he's a fullback slash tight end slash H back and sometimes that confuses the defense they move him around all over the offense and there he goes in motion gets open Gus Rock great play action pass and boom it's a first down for the Redskins inside the team yeah, and another good block by a wide receiver Michael Westbrook that time by the way the the, uh, the name slash is available now again this year <laughs> oh that's 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 <laughs> correct since uh, Cordell Stewart has gone from not slash but to quarterback. Stay with us for the halftime halftime Wrangler halftime report. How's that for a redundancy? You're doing well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Wrangler, I got so excited. The Wrangler <laughs> halftime report coming up because we're going to go back to Vince, Keith, and Sean. They will have the no huddle highlights of opening day on the NFL, in the NFL. I used to love doing those no huddle highlights. <laughs> I miss those. Do you? Oh, yes. Yeah, but think of the uh, no huddle we give you here. Mm -hmm. It's much better. It's livelier now. <laughs> 38 seconds well, to go. First and goal for one. <laughs> All right, this is where Carolina's defense in the past, a year ago, were very, very good. Allen has Bowie to the right. Play action for Rott. Looks for Bowie, fires, caught. No catch. No catch. Good coverage, but... Allen now again behind Ferrat. This time they give it to him. He comes right. Breaks the tackles, touchdown. And that's just what Pat emphasized, what I emphasized. Terry Allen, it's the yards after the first contact. You can't arm tackle him, you can't shoulder tackle him. You got to deliver a blow. And when he gets inside the 10 yard line, he smells the goal line and he can't be stopped. 15 rushes for 84 yards thus far in this game for Terry Allen. You know, people misjudge his strength and his quickness. And this run, you're going to see strength. Jenkins on a good uh, block down, block buoy as well. Then he runs right over Eric Davis. When you need vision, you need strength, ability to break inside tackles to be a good red zone runner, and indeed he is. And on the goal line, the running back has to run over someone because yeah. obviously with 11 guys, nobody's blocking the quarterback. That's the guy he had to run over, and he did. Scott Blanton authors the extra point and a most impressive drive for the Washington Redskins. First, they capture the turnover. 
And then they go the distance of the field, highlighted by a 43-yard pass and catch Leslie Shepard. And here's the touchdown run. Yeah, it was set up by the reception with the good offensive line blocking. So Joe Patton out there as well. James Jenkins double down. But the last yard and a half was all Terry Allen. Pat, you mentioned good offensive line blocking. I would take credit for that if I made a block on that. But Terry Allen did that all by himself. He ran over the defender, just stuck it in there. And this guy's been magnificent over the years in the red area. He's got a knack of punching that yeah. ball in the goal line. And the Redskins throughout their career, we've done it forever. We did it with Riggins in the 80s. In the late 80s, it was George Rogers. And now it's Terry Allen in the 90s. 91 yards and 11 plays after the takeaway. Three minutes and 36 seconds. And the big play was that slant pattern yep. to Leslie Shepard, the downfield block. And uh, we talked to Dom Capers and said, who do you fear most? And he said, Terry Allen. Yep. And again, this Carolina team with the susceptibility to the running game defensively. Yeah. And that, that you know, usually preseason answers a bunch of questions for you, but I think they raised a lot for Dom Capers' team. Blanton will kick off as the Redskins take a 10-3 lead. This one might hook out of bounds. It does. Boy. That hurts. That'll uh, yeah, take that'll the wind out of your sails. <laughs> Obviously, you can't give them field position with 28 seconds left uh, in the half after you've just taken the ball almost 90 yards down the football field and scored a touchdown. <laughs> Grievous error, stupid hey, mistake. Uh, you say potato? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's Burline. Goes deep left side, has a man open, and it's knocked away from Rocket Ismail by Stanley Richard, number 24. The second time Steve Burline's kind of hung the receiver out. The ball was uh, kind of like a punt. Yeah, that had a little mallard to it. Yeah, the old whirly bird. And again, given the defensive back both times, it has been Stanley Richards had plenty of time to react to the throw. I'll tell you what, our technical support staff, our camera guys are getting great shots. That was a fantastic shot. 10-3, yeah. 23 seconds to go before halftime. Stunts by the defense. And it's picked up. Nope. Big pardon. Caught. Winslow. Winslow Oliver made the catch. And the tackle made by Mark. I don't know if you agree with me, but the key, I think, to their season, their playoff aspirations, is how well they Harvey comes from the outside. Burline steps up and overthrows. Wesley Walls in the right flat at the 50-yard line will be fourth down. A much improved Washington defensive team. And that was the biggest question, I think, about this, this ball club. They could score points. It was as productive as anybody on offense a year ago in the NFC East. Now Ken Walter on to punt again. Young man from Cleveland. And Brian Mitchell at the 10-yard line. This one not as effective. And Mitchell gathers it in. Michael Bates, who is a, an all-world kick returner, also does the job as a gunner on punt coverage. And he was the first man down. And that, that's really unusual, Vern. And you just mentioned Michael Bates, great kickoff returner. Guy made the Pro Bowl. As a, if you do, I'm really impressed. Mike Marsh? Well done. Wow. I, I, don't, I don't know. I would... I just asked him. Freddie Fredericks may have finished with the silver. I'm, I'm uh, and Michael Johnson didn't come home with a medal. That's wow. right. Yeah. So now, don't you feel embarrassed that you brought up something like no, that? No, I don't. As a matter of fact. <laughs> Man, I sure hope I'm close. I don't even want to be right. I just want to be close. <laughs> My score at halftime is 10-3 Washington. Now let's join Vince, Keith, and Sean for the Wrangler Halftime Report. Welcome to the ranks after a turnover and Terry Allen gets the touchdown to put them on top of the Carolina Panthers 10 3 as we begin the third quarter in this Erickson Stadium where the Carolina Panthers had yet to lose undefeated last year in regular season and they won their only playoff game here against Dallas but they have committed two turnovers tonight to lead to the 10 Washington points Terry Allen Anthony Johnson uh, 84 and 80 yards respectively in the passing yards a big discrepancy there 90 yards for Washington and 18 for Carolina. Vern Lundquist along with Pat Hayden and Mark May and Steve Berline first half. Going up to the left side, cutting back across the game. Extensive notes throughout the game. He talks to And he watches the kickoff, as do you. And it's Ernie Mills, number 89. 
who brings it out with Michael Bates leading the way. Bates gets two blocks on the play. And Mills out to the 33-yard line. Jamel Williams, number 22, makes the tackle. You know, Dom Keepers is uh, very much an organized guy. And Michael Bates, as we talked about him, an unusual special teams player as a returner, as a coverage man, and there is a quasi-blocker. You talk about speed in the NFL. When a guy can win an Olympic gold medal in the 200 meters, he has got speed to get to the corner. And a guy like this with his height and his speed and his athletic ability, once he gets a seam, he's gone. Is this inflation? He's won the gold now? <laughs> First down. I told you, I wanted to get close. I didn't know how close. <laughs> or a bronze. Yeah. Was it a bronze? Yeah. yeah. I thought I said Olympic gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> Never lost to the Redskins. Ray Carruth in motion, the handoff, Anthony Johnson, and he bursts forward to the fourth. Fred Lane in the backfield, gets the handoff, goes right. Oh, Stanley Richard puts a pop on him, but Lane hangs on to the football and gets go. His dad, Fred Sr., had a free agent tryout with the Washington Redskins. Didn't make the club. Play action for Burline. He's being chased and settles for the short man. Leslie Wells, who proves himself elusive in 49ers, two of them on injured reserve. Here's Johnson coming left. And he is met and driven back by Rich Owens, Richie Redskin, yeah. number 96. Richie Redskin, they call him, and he was so excited when he came to the Redskins after being drafted out of Lehigh, he went out and bought everything that had Redskins on it. Hats, <laughs> shirts, bell buckles, anything he had, and he wore them every day. He never had a suit. He came to the homecoming uh, meeting that the Redskins had. They threw a little luncheon, and he had Redskin apparel. I think the most impressive part of the story you just told is that he bought the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he hasn't learned the, N, the NFL way. If it's free, I'll take two yet. <laughs> Second and 11. Owens wearing number 96. Motion from Carruth. Burline back. Pumps a couple of times and then goes across the middle incomplete for Ray Carruth, the top draft pick. Winslow Oliver comes in, which reminds us we have not seen Tamanga, Tamanga Biakabatuka tonight. And aren't you glad of that? <laughs> oh, Say man. That three times and I'll believe <laughs> you. Much happier now than I was 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Burline. Oh, he forced it again. Yes, he did. Oh. Is it intercepted? Yeah. Yes. I think it was Daryl Pounds. Daryl Pounds, number 31. You know, this preseason, you can say, you know, you can to paraphrase uh, Miss Stein, the preseason is the preseason is the preseason. And they said, hey, you know, it is. Uh, don't worry about it. We'll get over it. They have done things badly all preseason, and they continue it in their opening game with their third turnover tonight. After the turnover, the Redskins first down at their own 14-yard line. They hand it off to Terry Allen. He goes left. Henry Eller gives him some help, and Allen is knocked out of bounds with number 85. And a flag is thrown in the Redskin bench. A 15-yard gain, and we may tack on some. There's Eller. Some of the best blocking by wide receivers I've seen in a long, long time. There's the. You can tell there's a flag. There's a penalty because we had a little flag thing right there for you. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. <laughs> number 40. It's kind of cute. Defense hitting out of bounds. 15 yards. First down. Yeah, I like ours better than the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very cute there. Yeah. Looks like a shuttlecock. Uh huh. 15 yards on Pat Terrell, and so that makes that a 30-yard play. And the penalty against Carolina. Take a look at it. All right there, uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. If you're that far out of bounds, that's just a dumb, dumb play that's got to cost you regardless. I was going to say, it didn't look like that bad of a hit. <laughs> well, once the guy's on the sidelines and out of bounds, you've got to lay off. At the 44, first down. Bowie in motion. Blitz comes from Coda. Farratt goes to his left and underthrows Leslie Shepard, who was covered by Pat Carroll. And let's go back here. One, two, three. He's not throwing into double coverage. He's throwing into triple coverage. That's a no-no by any quarterback. Pat Hayden couldn't even have made that pass. But here's Ray Carruth. He's wide open. The receivers become wide open, but I believe that Steve didn't have a chance to see him because he's being pressured by Rich Owens. Second down and 10. 11-17 to go. Allen does a little rumble in the backfield and picks up a yard. The one thing about Norv Turner, Vern, is he's not afraid to call the tailback's number. 
came here after serving as the offensive coordinator with the Cowboys and Jimmy Johnson. Third down and eight. Parrott across the middle, incomplete for Jenkins. It'll be fourth down. And Mike Mint, number 66, signed as a free agent after 13 years with the Raiders. Turk to Turk. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And Turk from Whoa. Turk sends it very high. Oof. Tyrone Poole with a fair catch at the six-yard line. A 48-yard punt. Nice hang time. Nothing on the return. We come to you from Charlotte. It's 10-3 Redskins. Carolina has it first down and 10. Steve Berline with his backs in the eye. Johnson and Green. They operate from their own seven-yard line, trailing by seven. Rocket Ismail in motion. Slip it to the fullback, and he picks up a couple out near the eight-yard line. Well, a week from tonight, we'll be in Phoenix as the Dallas Cowboys. Second down and eight. Three wide receivers set now, and Johnson is in a slot to the right, so no running backs behind Berline. Quick setup, slant pattern. Inside, in front of Daryl Green, and incomplete for Ray Carruth. There's a rookie from Colorado against a 15-year veteran from Texas a &R. You, don't you don't think there's any intimidation here with Daryl Green saying, hey, young kid, there's no way you're going to beat me. And Cruz probably out there saying, I can whip this old man anytime. <laughs> Such fun chatting with Daryl Green last night about his first game at RFK Stadium. He lined up against Drew Pearson. He said, I wanted to ask him for an autograph. <laughs> well, that wasn't that the game he chased down... Uh... Chase down Tony Dorsett. From behind, yeah. Yes. And at that point, we knew he was going to be special. Mark May also a starter in that game. Third down. Burline deep left side. And this one is good to Rocket Ismail. And Burline's body posture. Here's Johnson. Big run. To the 43. And Anthony Johnson right there. First down at the 43. Burline will try the air again. Goes deep up the walls, incomplete. Jesse Campbell with good coverage, closing fast and got there. Uh, that, that's a matchup they want, Mark. They put two wide receivers on one side, the slot for me. And 10 with eight and a half to go third quarter. We may get a delay of game call here. But I, I'll take your word for it. His teammate said Sam Mills played for the Cardinals then. <laughs> Didn't both you guys do that game? Uh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Second down and 15. Flag is down back at the 31-yard line, so this one could come back. That's got to be a hole. Yep. Somebody had the shirt of Ken Harvey, and they just took him down. Flag down on the floor. There's Bob McElwee. Illegal hands to the face. Number 75 offense. 10-yard penalty. Repeat the down, second down. Greg Skrepanik. Well, for Ellen Ripley, there's only one thing more important than survival. Oh, this is a good one. Revenge. Yep, because she had a tough time in Alien 1. <laughs> <laughs> Second and 25. Screen pass left. Johnson. Good open field tackle by Daryl Pounds, number 31. The third-year man from Nichols State. And it'll be third down and a bundle. As opposed to a, a smidgen. smidgen. Yes. Yeah. And third down in a bundle. Three wide receivers set on third and 19. Come with his notes tonight, he's going to have a list as long as Tolstoy. <laughs> third and 24. <laughs> Stunts by the Redskin defense. Burline goes short. Winslow Oliver, number 20, makes the grab, but uh, they needed 24, and they got about seven. And uh, something that has not been heard much here in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City. Booze. Burline and the team come over. Dom Capers, 50 years of age, started out as a graduate assistant under Don James at Kent State in the early 70s. He uh, himself played at Mount Union in Ohio in the Midwest. Here's Ken Walter, his fourth punt as a pro. Speaking of Golden State, there's a segue. <laughs> I mean, Kent State. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yes. Yes. Boy, don't you hate it when you whip? <laughs> I mean, it was just the charger in. Washington leads Carolina here 10-3, and the Redskins got their touchdown late second quarter 
A 91-yard drive, the highlight of which was a 43-yard pass reception from Leslie Shepard. Terry Allen got the TD. Hand off to Terry Allen. He comes right. Brad Badger, number 74, and Ed Simmons, number 76, out there at right guard. Right guard, of course, is... Everyone knew it was holding number 74, George Starr. Matter of fact, in the last game played at RFK, well, completed in the second, second down and nine. Here's Perron. Oh. Deep for Allen, incomplete. Famer, he's been to the Pro Bowl five or six times in three Super Bowls that he'd won. He'd been to four Super Bowls, and now he's the headline coach of the Washington Redskins. Third and nine. Perron finds his tight end, Jamie Asher, but that will be... Four yards short of the first down. Michaels punt. Dan Turk snaps it back, and it's a good one. My goodness. And that's a good one. Pull at the 23. Jesse Campbell was right there to nail him. Fern, I always wondered, when you're training camp and you get cut, you're cut by the Turk. Now, who cuts the... And the crew of the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes out of Pompano Beach, Florida. 10-3. First and ten, and Anthony Johnson heads right. Jamal Duff, number 92, one of the newer Redskins, makes it. Phillips, 125 yards, his best day as a pro. Second and eight, 10-3. Carruth starts in motion. Johnson goes right, gets a good block from Green, and Derek Smith, number first down and ten. Right side. Off to Johnson, who comes left and cuts back across the 50 to the 47 and a half. With a skilled guy like Tim Biakabatuka, it's going to take him probably at least another five or six weeks. 2-11 to go third quarter. And here's Johnson, and he works at left tackle, and uh, that will leave the Panthers about a yard. 40 to go, third quarter. Third and three. Play action. Burline, right side, green. Now will they give him forward progress? He's no, not no. going to get a good spot. I thought he had it. You know, the one thing about Mike Nolan's defensive team, and they, they were with the Giants, and they certainly have showed it tonight, they are good tacklers. And they've made several open field tackles uh, tonight on critical third down situations. Now, good play call by Joe Pendry. Good throw there by Burline. Stanley Richard gets a piece of him. Derek Smith helps him, and he's a smidgen short. <laughs> Tiz. Yep. <laughs> Fourth and one in a 10-3 game with 1-12 to go, third quarter. Lane is the running back. Green is the blocking back. down in 10 at the 40-yard line, and this is Ray Carruth in motion. Johnson back in the backfield for Lane. He gets the handoff and comes left. He got some good blocks on the left side. Walter in his eighth year, almost the definition of a journeyman, until last year when he came on with six 100-yard games, has 134 tonight at career high. Next carry will be his 20th. It might come here. Here's Kennard Lang, the rookie, number one draft pick from Miami by way of Orlando. At the end of three quarters, it's statistical. Scott Green, number 43. Here's Carruth in motion. Play fake, Burline. Comes across the middle, and it's caught by Carruth at the 25-yard line. He'll need five more for the first down. Tackled by Jim Nichols. See what Dom Capers has in mind. He loads up on the right side. Winslow Oliver is in as a nickelback, number 20. Berline stunts. Here comes the rush. Beat the wall. After the 15-yard penalty, Casey kicks off Brian Mitchell at the 21-yard line. And Mitchell, good special teams. Cover line of defense in eight games at home last year. Allowed three points in the fourth quarter. Perrott. 15-yard penalty in 1997. Second and nine. Oh, my. Mo Third and 
eight. Deep left side, battle, flag on Tyrone Ford. That could go either way. I don't know who, uh, against whom they're going to call it, but that could go either way. They're going to call it against Carolina. 24-yard <laughs> penalty. First down at the 43 in a tie game. Barat goes deep right side, man coverage. And Leslie Shepard down there, but so is the veteran Eric Davis. So Turnbull in defensively. Number 97 lines up at left end. Bowie out of the backfield. Barat draw play. Terry Allen gets a little bit of a block from Harper, and they pick up about five and a half, six yards. The Redskins have the ball. Third down and six. Shepard goes right. Harper and Westbrook come to the near side. Quick count. Barat oh. on a line. Asher has a first down at the 29. And that's what the Washington Redskins have to do. Get Farrat to set in that pocket, get rid of that ball in his third or fifth step, and go to a guy that's going to catch the ball, the tight end, Jamie Asher. Now, North Turner questioned the timing ability between his tight end and quarterback because Asher was injured in the first preseason game. But thus far, he's come through with three receptions for 20 yards, two of those receptions for first downs. First and 10 at the 29 tie game. Fake the draw. Tremendous pressure. Underhanded toss with Lathan on his lies two on the tee. He whipped. <laughs> For right. Heavy traffic. Andre Royal incomplete at the 24. A moment ago, that would have taken him out of field goal range in a 10-10 ball game. Third and 10. It would be a 47-yard attempt by Blanton if they don't gain a yard. They've got to avoid the sack. For right. Oh. Caught by Asher. First down at the 14-yard line for Rupp and Jamie Asher team up again. 15 yards, and you can't throw it any better than that. And Jamie Asher, boy, what a, a fingertip catch there by Jamie Asher. The timey mark that you were talking about, Farratt was looking at him the entire way. Perfect coverage by Mike Minner, number 30. Just a better throw by Farratt, and then a good catch by Asher for 15 yards and a first down. And I think in this series, Farrakh has really raised his level. In the last few plays, he has really stepped it up. Draw play, Allen breaks a tackle, has a tackler at the five, and he takes him to the three, and is finally down at the two. A 13-yard game. Emmett Smith and Terry Allen are the best red zone rushers in the National Football League. We've mentioned several times the 21 touchdowns. A year ago by Terry Allen. Another cutback run, the strength, the yards after the hit. I mean, he carries three Carolina defenders there, 125 yards tonight. And he is down at the one. First and goal. Allen. No! Of that pass. Second and goal. Play action. Barad for Asher. Lamar Lathan, no flag. Now that third and goal. Allen, touchdown, Washington. Went right, and Bob Dahl, the injured guard, was in on short yardage, Mark. And the Washington Redskins offensive line coach, Russ Grimm, told us that Bob Dole will only plays short yardage and goal line. He gets great leverage here. Look at the push. The right guard, right tackle, and tight end. They pin everyone inside. And Terry Allen, as Pat suggested before, it's those yards after contact that makes him a great rusher. You know, uh, Marcus Allen may be the best short yardage runner, but that was a heck of a short yardage run by Terry Allen. Went right, his second touchdown tonight, and Blanton is on out of Farratt's hole with the extra point. It is up and it is good. So the Redskins counterpunch, and this is the first time in a season and a game in regular season that Carolina has given up a fourth quarter touchdown. 52 to go in regulation play. The Redskins with three third down conversions in that drive. Keep in mind, it was set up 
Terry Allen's touchdown that is by the 15 yard unsportsmanlike call after the score for the removal of the helmet by Walter Rasby. So they had good field position to start the drive. Michael Bates hoping to counter. Yeah, this guy's instant field position. Oh. Redskin ball, it's the fourth turnover oh. tonight for Carolina. And it's the kicker that recovered it. Can you believe that the kicker recovered that? You talk about tough guys on the football field, the Redskins have one in the kicker. A year ago, the Carolina Panthers made you beat them. They did not beat themselves. But that's the fourth turnover tonight. And that ball clearly comes out, clearly shown by that shot. Easy call and a big break for the Redskins. Could your point providing the pictures from overhead at Erickson Stadium, this spectacular second year facility in the city of Charlotte and the fumble a moment ago. Yeah, Michael Bates led the year, uh, league in returns a year ago. It was Greg Jones, the rookie number two draft pick out of Colorado that forced it. And the kicker recovers it. Terry Allen gets the handoff and a big hole. Gets by Coda and scoots down the sidelines out of bounds at the eight yard line. Chad Coda chasing a 23 yard gain for Terry Allen. And Terry Allen runs behind his big right tackle, Ed Simmons. He's had the most success running to the right in his career with the Washington Redskins. And that's what you want to see your running back do. Go through the hole in scape, 24 carries, 144 yards, and two TDs. Big head Ed Simmons. I played a few years with him. The guy can dance on a light bulb. That was his forte with the Redskins. He's got sweet feet. Sweet feet. Sweet feet. Stephen Davis gets the handoff, number 48. And he's down to the five yard line. Well, you know, just following up with Ed Simmons, remember he was out for five games last year, and the Redskins weren't nearly as effective running the ball. I mean, he ran for. Stephen Davis coming left, flag is down, and so is Stephen Davis at the six yard line. Michael Barrow, number 56, leading the defensive charge, but we'll check the flag on the far side of the field, offside, Carolina. Eight in turnovers in preseason, minus four tonight. Yeah, and you know, they said hey, it's just a preseason, just a preseason, just a preseason, but it is very difficult to turn that switch on on opening night. Second and goal at the two. Allen back in. Loses yardage back to the five yard line. And if Carolina is going to have any chance of winning this ball game. Team 10, 6.45 to go in regulation play. Norv Turner and Gus Perot into third and goal. They scored on third and goal the last time they were down here. Shepard in motion. Perot in the end zone. Leslie Shepard. Touchdown. Clever little play. Now, Mark, you mentioned... North Turner's play calling, and he clearly is one of the best play callers in the league because he mixes it up. And again, running away from the rush, they got burned a couple times with some early sacks. They adjusted well, and just to make sure it doesn't happen again in a critical situation, they roll Gus Farrat out and Leslie Shepard in front of Eric Davis for the touchdown. North Turner said last night about his play calling, it's what I do best, mm -hmm. it's the reason I got this job, and it's the reason I will continue to do it. Now there are flags down. Rekick, Scott Blanton out of Farratt's hold. And Dan Turk snaps it back. It is good. Trevor Maddich, of course, for a long time snapper for... Score, the Redskins, Red North Turner, his son Scott Turner, 15-year-old freshman quarterback, called in last Thursday when they've yet to taste defeat in this stadium. But they find themselves trailing now. Michael Bates. Out to the 27-yard line, the tackle made by Greg Jones. Plus 13 a year ago in posting... A 12 and 4 record in preseason, down eight, and they start off 1997 down four. Yeah, you know, we, you talk about the, the questions that were raised in the preseason, and, and the, Dom Caper still has to have some of those about his team. 
as he heads into week two. 6.25 to go and a 14-point Washington lead. Berline across the middle. Almost picked off by Chris Dishman. He's got one tonight. He had another wiped out because of a penalty. And he was that close to getting that one. And that's why the Redskins signed him in this offseason. They wanted another guy to go on the other side of Daryl Green that can with his speed. Second down and 10, Carolina. Berline in trouble. Chris Mims got him. Number 91. Sean Gilbert, of course, continues his holdout, and we chatted with Norv Turner, Mark, about the Sean Gilbert situation last night. He said, well, among other things, he's been designated the franchise player, so according to the salary we give him, or that he would earn, he loses 180000 tonight. Well, the way the Redskins' defensive line is playing thus far tonight, it doesn't look like they really miss him. And Turner was saying last night, yes, he's chatted with him. He'd like to get him back. He thinks that Gilbert and his agent are trying a game of leverage. Oh. Incomplete. Jamal Williams, number 22 back there. And it's fourth down. In a game of leverage, when a player holds out. Brian Mitchell waits for the kick from Ken Wolder. Mitchell. Whoops. Came close to touching it. He did not. And Damon Pierre in the road. Stephen Davis in in the backfield. And Farad hands it off to Stephen Davis. Out across the 41 2 yard line. The only way Carolina can win this ball game with 530 remaining is to force a turnover. So any ball carrier that has or any runner has the ball, you got to strip the ball carrier. Kind of ironic in the huddle, too, right now. You have Michael Westbrook standing right next to Stephen Davis, two guys who got into it just a few weeks ago. Westbrook comes to the near side. Davis stays in the backfield on second down and four. Davis out to the 45 yard line. Well, this is a Redskin team. down Redskins and this is the time of the game when you're up a couple of touchdowns you're playing on the road you need to quiet the crowd down you feed your running backs and you hang your hat on the offensive line and say guys here's your opportunity move them out I'm counting on you that's exactly Michael Barrow drives Davis back Stephen Davis is going to going to be a guy that plays a significant role. Well, he always knew his players. He was a tremendous figure in Washington, but I think his son John Ken Cook, when he takes over the Redskins, he's going to do an outstanding job also. On second down and nine, across the 50. Mark, have you seen the new uh, and a five-state radius is Redskin country? Third and seven. <laughs> Davis with. Uh, I think enough yardage to move the chains again. It is nothing like an opening day win, though. Well, I tell you, oh, we have an injury here. Is that Lathan? Lathan? Well, Lamar Lathan, yeah. who will be along with interviews from Erickson Stadium, where it would appear now the Carolina Panthers will taste defeat for the first time ever in this building. Here's Davis on the loose. And Westbrook. <laughs> screen. A little screen. What? Is, if he's, is he going to call that a block? That's a pick play by Michael Westbrook. It's a plus. When you go over the game films, that's a plus. But it's one of those situations if you get your hands on a guy and it looks like he's going to spin around and get called for holding, just drop your hands and you just yeah. use your body as a shield. That was a smart play by Westbrook. Well, he looked like El Cordobus <laughs> with a bull coming at him. This is the bullfighter from oh, the 50s. Man, I'm, so thank you, you know, reliving uh, old days again. Uh -huh. But what's important about that play is. North Turner question is the left side of his offensive line, Sharp Radonish and Joe Patton. And these guys have done an outstanding job blocking on that play. They had cut off blocks, but they stayed with their blocks, and Stephen Davis was able to cut to his left and gain positive yardage. Gain of 17. Davis goes right, and the clock continues to work in the Redskins' favor. Lathan is going to be assisted on to the cart. As Davis uh, takes it down to the 22-yard line, is that the kind of play that the league office will look at? No, that is not a... Perhaps that's good news. Okay, Frank, thank you. Third down and eight. 
a 14 point lead and Stephen Davis keeps it on the ground and moves the pile as they say inside the 15 See, the 14 yard line really I've been impressed Mark with two things particularly by the Washington Redskins the way they play defense tonight and the way they ran the football particularly on a play like that when Carolina knew they were going to run the ball and they still pick up eight or nine yards 196 yards rushing for the Redskins tonight. Absolutely. You got to tip your hat to Russ Grimm, the old ex hog. I mean, he's got these guys fired up. They had to mix and match. They're starting a rookie at right guard. Take Joe Patton from left tackle, move him into left guard. And now you start Sharp Pordonis, who was benched last year from left tackle. Insert him at the starting left tackle. So there's really three moves that were made on this offensive line. First down with 118 to go. Davis. And Carolina, of course, they uh, had a 12 and 4 record a year ago. Tied the only team <laughs> west of the Mississippi, St. Louis, and San Francisco. Second and eight. Big win for Tony Dungy in Tampa Bay today. Yeah, absolutely. Huge win, uh, defeating the 49ers. And how about Bill Parcells beginning his era with the New York Jets as they go out and thump Seattle. Well, that was a shocker. Seattle was a team that was rebuilding this Ooh. year. And through the draft and free agency, everyone thought that they were going to make a move. And Bill Parcells had the New York Jets ready, and they just ran around and to the Seattle Seahawks. Dom Capers, who is the veteran coach in the NFC West in his third year because everybody else is new. Well, they're old, but they're new. And Capers and the Panthers lose for the first time at home in this facility. Right now, let's go down to Craig Sager. Well, no, if you do, it's going to be a tough game. This team has never lost in this stadium. You come in 24-10. You have to be pleased, especially with your defense. I'm uh, uh, pleased with our entire team. You know, uh, we talk a lot about winning as a team, and, and we played good defense. We ran the ball. We made big plays in the pass, and, and special teams gets the big turnover that gets us a chance to get up by 14 points. You start out 7-1 last year. You fell 2-6 the second half. People criticized your second half, yet you saw something you could build on. Well, this is a new football team, and we've been building with this group uh, for a long time. We've got nice additions. We've got players that have been here, and, and we're going to get a lot better. All right, good luck next week at Pittsburgh. Thank you. All right, let's go back up to the booth, sir. Okay, Craig, and when they line up the good guys in the National Football League, Norv Turner is going to be in the top three. His team wins their first game on the road in this season. They've got to go to Pittsburgh next, so it's not going to get any easier. But they win it tonight 24-10. Terry Allen had 141 yards. It's fall.